everyone. Today on my channel, this is probably going to be not a long video, but I never know. I say that sometimes and then it ends up being a long video. But today we're going to do Tongu Lu because I've seen it done on YouTube and um, a lot of the Japanese street food videos and I've just always wanted to try it myself. So we're going to do that today. Okay, so for this recipe, you're going to need two cups of sugar, a quarter cup of water, and a third a cup of corn syrup. And uh, we're just going to get started. And I'm measuring everything in these measuring cups because that's all I can find right now. So I'm going to do the two cups of sugar first. That's one cup. Quarter cup of water, and then a third a cup of corn syrup. Then you need a candy thermometer, and we're going to cook it to the hard crack stage, which is at 300 degrees. Now here are my strawberries. I took the green off and I washed them off and I dried them really well with some paper towels. You wanna to make sure they're as dry as you can get them. Right now we're at uh, not quite 150 degrees, so we got a little while to go. I wanna mention you wanna be real careful when you're working with sugar in this manner because it will cause serious burns if you get it on you. Okay, now it's at about it's just over 200 degrees. So that's almost the softball stage. We want to get it to 300 degrees. Okay, so it's at the hard crack stage at 300 degrees. So we're gonna very carefully remove my thermometer. And rather than dip the fruit, I'm going to pour it on the fruit. very carefully because this is super duper no joke hot. It's a lot more syrup than strawberries, but that's okay. Okay, so we're gonna let this cool off for a few minutes. Definitely worked, but I made a lot more syrup than I needed. I just followed the recipe. I guess I needed twice as many strawberries. So that's okay. It'll get eaten. It's still candy. But see, this stuff right here is so thick that it's not hardening. But, but what's on the strawberries is. Yeah, that's, ooh, that's a good one. So give it a few minutes to cool off to a safe temperature, and then we will try them out. So typically they're put on skewers. I didn't have any, so I just put them on this tray and um, we'll just have to dig them out of this. This is starting to harden up a little bit too. That's real thick. It's still gonna be tasty. It's melted sugar, so how can it not be? Okay. It's ready. So I'm gonna try one. I have to break, oh no, that one broke off nice and easy, okay. So here's one. Okay. Want me to break one off for you? I might have to dig up here. I'll do it. Sugar coated strawberries. It's like a candy apple, except it's strawberries. Hmm. Do you like it? It's different. 
You don't like it? It's good. I like it. It's good. I think it would be better if I put it on skewers, but it's hard enough finding the candy thermometer. Mm -hmm. And then I got to run around looking for skewers. That was my version of Tonga Lou. If I make it again, I'm gonna put it on skewers. But it looks like it's like a resin display. But that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll put the recipe down below. I think that's a pretty typical recipe. I didn't do anything differently than what I've seen others do. Um, and uh, if you try it, let me know what you think. I will talk to all of you later. Bye.